Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from TopTipBio.com and in this video I will show you how to create a forest plot also known as an odds ratio plot. So a forest plot, like the example shown on screen, is a specialised graph commonly used in meta-analyses to show the effect size as well as the 95% confidence intervals for different studies of a similar experimental design. Odds ratios are commonly used as the effect sizes in forest plots and will be used in this tutorial. These are indicated by the solid circles. The whiskers either side represent the lower and upper 95% confidence intervals. In this video tutorial I will show you how to create this very forest plot. So let's go into PRISM and begin the tutorial. So within PRISM, I'm going to create a new sheet and it's going to be a column table and graph. I'm going to enter import data into a new table and enter replicate values stacked into columns and click the create button. I'll paste in the data that I have prepared earlier. So here each study data is entered into a separate column and the second row, so row number two, indicates the odds ratio for each study. The lower 95% confidence intervals are on the first row and the upper 95% confidence intervals are on the third row. And each column is named after the study that the data came from. So I'm going to click on the connected graph sheet to open up and select the type of graph we want. And the type of graph we want is under the column graph family. And within the column graph family, there's the mean, median and error tab. And then we want to select the column mean with error bars. So within PRISM, there is no option to plot the odds ratio with the 95% confidence intervals. So instead, I will select to plot the median as well as the range. It is important that you do not select the median with 95% confidence intervals since PRISM will then calculate the 95% confidence intervals from the 95% confidence interval data that you've entered. And therefore, the result will be meaningless. So I'm going to go ahead and select the medium with range and then I'm going to click the OK button to be taken to the graph. So here we have our basic graph where we have our different studies indicated on the y-axis and then the symbols represent the odds ratio in this example and the whiskers either side are the 95% confidence intervals. So the first thing you'll notice is that each study is given a different symbol on the graph. Now usually in forest plots the symbols that are representing the effect sizes are circles or squares. So I'm going to format this graph to change all of the symbols to be a solid circle. So what I'll do is go to the Format Graph button at the top. And then at the top under Dataset, I'm going to select to change all datasets. So therefore, we're changing the global settings. And changing the global settings is discussed in a bit more detail in a separate Quick Tip video tutorial. So now I'm going to change the shape to be a solid circle and then click the apply button. So now notice that each study's odds ratio is represented by a solid circle. So I'm going to click the OK button to return to the graph. Another thing that you may wish to do on a forest plot is to add a vertical line that passes through one, especially when you're using odds ratios. Simply an odds ratio of one represents no difference between the experimental group and the control group. So by having a solid line, it indicates as a reference point for the reader to see if there were any significant differences between the control and experimental groups. So to add this vertical line, I'm going to click on the Format Axes button. And then under the X Axes tab, I'm then going to go to the bottom where it says Additional Ticks and Grid Lines. And then at X equals 1, I'm going to insert a line and then click the Apply button. So notice now that there's a vertical dotted line that's added that passes through the odds ratio of value of 1. So this can act as our reference. Another thing you may wish to do is to make the x-axis logarithmic. And this is often done to make odds ratios greater than 1 and less than 1 symmetrical. Now if you want to do this, you need to change the scale from linear to log 10. And you can also add minor ticks by going to this drop down here. For example, 9 minor ticks, which will add nine small lines in between the major ticks. And if you're doing this, ensure the log option is ticked since this is log data. And if I click apply to preview these changes, notice now the X axis is symmetrical so that those with odds ratios greater than one and less than one 
have an equal space either side of the dotted line at 1. But for this example, I'm going to revert back to the linear scale and then click the apply button. And I'm going to return back to the graph to finish off the tutorial by clicking the OK button. So the last thing I want to do is give my x axis a title and call this odds ratio, since this is what has been measured. I'm going to remove the y title and remove the graph title. So that is the finished forest plot. And in this video tutorial, you have learned how to create a forest plot, otherwise known as an odds ratio plot. And these types of plots are useful when performing meta-analyses to visually compare the effect sizes from different studies. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.